Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News from Thailand Radio and Television Station. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant General Tien So Phong Vong, Deputy Chief of Staff, Head of the Border Guard Division of Royal Cambodian Armed Forces, and General visited President Gifts and wished staying in Provincial Border Guard on the occasion of the Vietnamese traditional death holiday 2020 at Mobile International Border Gate Station. Receiving the delegation, there were Colonel Dun Vic Bun, Deputy Chief of Commander and Leaders of the Professional Departments and the Steering Committee of Mobile International Border Gate. On behalf of the delegation, Lieutenant General Ten So Phong Phong sincerely thanked the interest and assistance of the Vietnam People Army Forces, the people of Vietnam, and the Vietnam Border Guards for the Royal Cambodian Army Forces in general, Cambodian Border Guards in particular during the last time. The two sides have coordinated to do well the work of border protection and management, creating favorable conditions for the people of the two sides to do business, exchange goods, visit relatives, and provide easy medical examination and treatments. On the occasions of the New Year and the traditional Lunar New Year of the Vietnamese people, on behalf of the Border Guard Division, Lieutenant General Tan So Phong Phong gave gifts and wishes the command and all officials and soldiers of the Border Guards good health, happiness, success, with the solidarity and friendship between the army and people of the two countries enduring forever. Colonel Dan Vic Bun, Deputy Commander of the Border Guard, Thank the special affection that the Royal Cambodian Army Forces dedicated to the Border Guard and half the Border Guard Division will continue to direct the units under its authority to continue cooperating with the Border Guards to well manage and protect the common border between the two countries, maintain the borderline of peace, friendship, cooperation and mutual development. The delegation of military sub-area of Bante Menche Province, Kingdom of Cambodia, led by the Lieutenant General Cham Ren An, paid a visit to Tening Military Headquarters. Receiving the delegation, there was Colonel Ngo Thanh Dong, Deputy Chief of Staff, Chief of the Provincial Military Command. On the occasion of the traditional death holiday of the Vietnamese people, Lieutenant General Cham Ren An presented gifts and conveyed his best wishes to all officials and employees, officials and soldiers of the Army Forces and their relatives for a new year achieving many new victories. Colonel Ngo Thanh Dong thanked Lieutenant General Cham Ren An and wished on members of the delegation good health, happiness and hope that the two sides will further strengthen the solidarity, friendship and cooperation relationship and continue to develop bilateral relations to new height. On January 21st, the Party Committee, People's Council, People Committee and Vietnam Fireland Wrong Committee of the province held a meeting of overseas Vietnam back home for Lunar New Year 2020. Attending the meeting, there were Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Phong, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Council, Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Ngọc, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, Mr. Đặng Minh Lũy, Vice Chairman of the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee of the Ninh Province, together with leaders of departments, committees and branches of the province, and nearly 100 overseas Vietnamese back home to celebrate the traditional death holiday of the nation. Currently, Tening has the number of overseas Vietnamese living in many parts of the world, concentrated in the U.S., Norway, Denmark, England, Germany, and some Asian countries. For years, overseas Vietnamese have had many activities involved in economic development, social security implementation in the province. In order to facilitate the operation, the Overseas Vietnamese Relatives Association of the province and districts has been established. In 2019, there were 180 more members, bringing the total number of current members to 314. The support activities of overseas Vietnamese for the homeland total nearly 3 billion Vietnam dong. Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Ngọc, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, said that in 2020, the province will continue to make breakthrough in social economic development, creating a faster, more comprehensive, and solid growth. 
Striving till the end of 2020, the Ninh will have no poor households, according to Central Standard. He hoped that overseas Vietnamese would support and respond positively by believing in the leadership of the party and the state and building a great solidarity block of the entire nation. On the occasion of Spring Festival 2020, the Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee also sent his wishes of good health, happiness and success to the overseas Vietnamese. The Ninh Provincial People's Committee recently organized a meeting with students of the province on occasion of Spring Festival 2020 at the Ninh Youth Learning Center. Mr. Nguyễn Thành Tâm, Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee and Chairman of the Provincial People's Council attended the meeting. The meeting with students of the province is one of the annual activities taking place before the Lunar New Year, attracting a large number of training students and peoples currently studying at intermediate schools, college, university and equivalent schools in the whole country. With the teams of signing Vietnamese energy, at the meeting, students also met two typical young people. Those two are the example of disabled youth Nguyễn Thị Thanh Thúy, who constantly strive to rise in life, or Lê Thanh Bình, a student who overcome difficulties in studying well and attaining high achievements in study and in union activities. Speaking at the meeting, Chairman of the Provincial People's Council Nguyễn Thành Tâm praised the efforts of training students. He also emphasized the policies to attract the talents of the province, the expectations of the provincial leadership to a general of students who have both strong professional and technical skills, to continue inheriting the construction and development of the homeland. The chairman of the Provincial People's Council hoped that in the coming time, the Provincial students would continue to make great efforts on studying and have many meaningful activities towards the homeland. On this occasion, the People's Committee of the Ninh Province commended and rewarded 57 talented students with excellent achievements in learning and training, peoples and students overcoming difficulties and studying well in the 2018-2019 school year. Ladies and gentlemen, only a few days left until the Lunar New Year 2020. The color of rings is coming up and down every back row. The white orchids are also trying to show their colors to welcome the new spring. We had the chance to visit some orchid gardens in Suingo Camille of Tang Chau District. On the last days of the year of the peak, people are busy repairing for their white orchid gardens to keep up with the markets, as well as adorn a new spring with colorful flowers. With the characteristics of white orchids, particularly of the orchids which are easy to grow and care for and its price is high. So in recent years, the people of Sugo Commune have poly trained groups make use of their indoor gardens to invest in growing of the orchids. Currently, Suingo Commune has five to six households growing commercial orchids with a relatively large number. About 20 more households grow orchids to make ornamental plants. Growing orchids require low capital investment but bring high income for the association's members. You can see that there are two typical households with annual income of 200 to 300 million Vietnam dong. Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Đông, an orchid farmer, said that because of loving orchids for a long time, he learned how to grow orchids online and from his friends, and found that the characteristics of white orchids are easy to grow, flowers bloom for a long time and smell good, so he decided to buy more than 2,000 orchids from Cambodia to grow. So far, over a period of nearly two years, the trees can be sold. The longer it is, the more valuable the tree. Growing of the orchids bring very high economic efficiency. Orchid flowers are very fragrant and beautiful. White orchids are very precious. In the past, people used to say when the soldiers came back, they often brought a ring of orchids to give to their lovers. It's bloom right on the new year of Christmas. In general, growing orchids bring about good economic efficiency for my family.
Like Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Đông, a young man named Đoàn Minh Hải, who worked at the Control Center of Suyngu Commune, also invests in growing of dim orchids in his garden. With a 250 square meter garden, he has invested to grow more than 5,000 orchid roots. After nearly two years of taking care, so far his orchid garden has grown very well and in bloom to repair for the dead market. I saw a lot of people growing ngọc điểm orchids with high efficiency, so I decided to choose ngọc điểm orchids. Planting these orchids bring high economic efficiency, but the payback period is very fast. Mr. Hai added that planting and taking care of orchids is very easy. He just needs to stick orchids to the branch of star apple trees, watering once or twice a day. Mr. Hai said that he invested about 120 million Vietnam dong. The profit for him in two years is about 450 million Vietnam dong. In the coming time, he will replicate this model. According to the Farmers Association of Shuvu Kamun, with orchid planting bring such high income, the association will continue to orient and mobilize loan for the farmers to abroad investment in planting orchids. Farewell to the young owners, we also see that the blooming orchid gardens are also the effect of only converting groups, bringing high economic efficiency for households in Sungo Kamun, promising a bumper new year and bringing happiness to everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.